So I haven't vlogged much yet today. I'll show you what Michael's doing. So this is our garage. And it has these crazy drawings on it. That's like Rent and Stimpy, I think. And then like the cow or something. And then they have like creepy skull guys. I don't know. I mean, I guess the guy was artistic. But then they have these creepy things. It's just all around, all around, no bueno. So like, eventually we want to paint the walls because they're pink. But for now we wanted to get rid of these symbols because we just feel like it's icky and stuff. So Michael's painting the floor with cement paint. We're not using regular paint. Um, and yeah, see, it's gray. So we're painting the floor gray. That's water over there because we cleaned it out really good, even though there's a piece of grass right here. But I'm excited because I'm tired of coming in here and seeing the spooky symbols. And another victory, babe, the boys are still asleep. Oh, wow. That is impressive. So far, Zachary's been waking up like 30 to 40 minutes after he naps. But this time I felt like he was rustling a little bit and then went back down, which is what he's supposed to do. Right. So try to get the floor first then before you get the edges. It's looking yeah. so good though. That's why I waited on this because this part's really, really rough. Yeah. So these parts rough. are a little bit smoother, so they don't really need that much paint. Yeah. And it's okay if you get on the pink because eventually we're going to paint the pink. Yeah. But um, yeah. The main goal is to just get rid of all those things. He did it! It's done! Except for like that part right there. But he's like, yeah, I kind of screwed myself. Have to wait till it dries. But the floor is done. No more spooky symbols. I'm very excited about this. This is good. I like this. We decided we're going to kind of commit to only putting my car in the garage, my Camry, and we're gonna use the other half of it um, to put like the dog cages because we've just been getting so many dogs that come with crates now. And I really don't put the dogs in the crates. I only put dogs in crates if like, uh, okay, like Sean and Kelly Rabbi, from now on they have to be either, like they have to be separate. So they're either like in the living room with me while all the other dogs are somewhere else or like I'll put them in the crate for a little bit. But to me, like all they do is lay around the house anyways. So if they're in their giant crate taking a nap instead of on my bed taking a nap, I don't think it'll be that big of a deal. Besides, like I tried mixing them again and Rabbi um, was super aggressive with another dog and the other dog, didn't. Ollie did not care one bit, but I'm like, dude, all I need is for you to get hurt again and I'm done, like so. I'm just going to keep him separate all the time because he's like accident prone. He picks fights and he's just he's just super accident prone. So he shall be separate. And then like um, if I didn't have a cage for Rex, we bought a big one. So now like if that same situation happened, I would have somewhere to separate Rex and Rabbi. Like I would have crates for them. That's my goal, is to like, if a situation were to occur, I have somewhere to put the dogs. Also, um, the last time, maybe not the last time, but one time, I left Buddy in the living room for a little bit too long and he kind of nibbled on my rug. And the other time, who was the dog that moved the couch? Was that Buddy too? When I came home and the couch was like completely pushed over? I don't know, but like they they must have been wrestling because the couch was completely moved, which it's pretty easy to move, but still like the couch was completely moved, the rug was everywhere. So um, if I do leave, the biggest time I leave is whenever I go to church Sunday. It's like a two and a half hour process with like travel time and stuff like that. So I want to be able to crate the dogs when I leave instead of keeping them inside. Even Shauna Kelly and Rabbi have recently become problematic with that before I was like, no problem. Like, what's the worst that can happen? Um, but I found that they were marking when I left and I would come back and my room would just stink like urine. By the way, thanks to whoever told me to use vinegar, nailed it. So yeah, it's just nice to be like, 
whew, I can go to church without having to worry like I'm gonna come home. It got so bad that I would tell Michael like, babe, I need you to go inside first and tell me how bad the damage is because I can't even deal with like the suspense. So he would go and then come out and be, little, most of the time he would tell me it was fine, but still, it's gonna be nice to have a clean, non-demonic area <laughs> to put the dogs if we ever leave. Don't you think, babe? Yeah. It's gonna be good. This is all the stuff from the garage that we had to take out, which I'm pretty impressed. This is not that much. I feel like we do good a good job of not like hoarding stuff. I like your pajamas. They got a little pug. I'm trying to show your pug. And now it's not focusing. Aww. So accurate. You look cozy. Gotta get a shot for the vlog. Are you killing yourself up there? Not yet? Should we shut that off while you play with it? We need a new light bulb if you bring anyone out. Why do we need a new light bulb? Because that, that, the, all those wires you see is because it like separated from where it gets plugged in at. So I don't want to like start a fire or anything. How about we shut it off for now and yeah, let's work on getting it. Yeah, that might be a good idea. So Michael put in these lights. I don't know if you can see them, but that's super brats. Floor looks good. We're gonna put all the dog kennels there. Gray looks good, but we were saying now it looks like a little girl's room because it's pink and gray. We need to get rid of the pink. We need to get rid of the pink. <laughs> oh yeah, huh? There's a little bit of tagging up there. Well, we got some scrap paint for that we could probably use. But we need to pick a different color because if we paint the walls gray, then this place is gonna look like a dungeon. So Michael was thinking high gloss white, which I like. I say high gloss cream. How do you feel about cream? Okay, I'm, I'm feeling high gloss cream. White is a little too like, bah. That's okay if that falls. Roll with it. Ah, it's so exciting to see the Christmas tree. You excited for Christmas? You were just a little guy last Christmas. You got jit. This year you get the real experience. You're still a little guy. Damn it, I'm not that little. We just found a box of random clothes. Well, they're Connor's clothes, but. They're in good shape. They are. I know I always separate like donations from good. Close, so I don't know if that was like a... Yeah. <laughs> what he said. But yeah, it looks good. We'll use it. Oh. You just hit the jackpot. It's a moth. <laughs> Still have not Sorry. caught him walking on camera. No, yeah, yeah, no, no, don't do it. Don't do it. Get up. Uh, just one of the puppies. He can walk, I swear. He takes like four steps. I just can't catch him on camera. 